Good night, everyone. Claudette again. And this is day 11 of my daily gratitude journal. So if you've been looking for the videos on my YouTube channel, which you can subscribe, I just put them up today. We got back home today. As you can see, I'm back in my home. This is my home office. And um, I uploaded the videos from the weekend. And today is Veterans Day, or what in the US we call Veterans Day. In Canada, we call it Remembrance Day. And before I share my gratitude for today, I want to just a special note to share and remember all the fallen soldiers and the um, veterans that have served our countries all over the world, not, not just in the US or in Canada, but around the world. Um, it's, you know, it, it always reminds me that um, I lost an uncle during World War II. He was a fi fighter pilot and uh, got bombed down, shot down by the Germans. Um, and what my grandmother went through, not that I personally knew about it because my grandmother had 16 children. So my mother's the baby of the 16. So the, these are stories that are being told from one, um, from, from, um, one generation to another. And so she, the hardest part for her was not knowing what had happened to her son, not, not being sure. And then um, she got that dreaded, um, you know, knock on the door and, and, and was told that um, he had been shut down. Uh, today, I mean, we, we have soldiers who are laying their lives for us uh, and some don't come back and some who do come back they're not the same they're, they're not the same people and um so you know if you meet a veteran um or know of family members i guess i'm i lost an uncle and um many of my older aunts and uncles uh, served in world war ii um and helped in different capacities. You know, when you look back, I could see there some of them had some some trouble, some issues. It, it's difficult. And so just taking some time to remember them, honor them, uh, make sure that uh, they're appreciated and recognized and thanked for uh, sacrificing their lives and being a part um, of making sure that we're safe. So that's what I wanted to share for, for, for this part. So as I mentioned, I'm back home and this is day 11. So this is, this means I'm a third through my month of daily gratitude. Hi, David. Thank you. I'm really glad you're here and uh, remembering your dad as well and um so remember you know um being grateful doesn't mean to um have big gra uh, being grateful for big huge things it can and i'm definitely very happy for everything i have Sometimes the little things can make a big in, impact. And one way is saying thank you. So for example, today, one of my things I'm grateful for is that we came back home and parked our RV in our home. Now, if ever you've driven an RV before, we have a fifth wheel and it's a 35 foot. So it's not humongously long, but it's long enough. And so what I'm very grateful for is that my husband backed it up in our yard. And it's, there's trees, there's rocks, it's a curvy yard. 
and uh, he backed it up really great. I mean, this is probably one of the best way, times that we backed up RV. So, you know, saying thank you and telling him he did a great job is part of being grateful. So sometimes it's just saying thanks. He did such a wonderful job. I'm so thankful. This went so well. So, you know, that's something to to mention and talk about. Catch other people doing something good. It could be your stepkids. It could be your partner. You know, it, it makes a big difference hearing someone say thank you. And he said thank you to me for being a good co-pilot. And it works both ways, right? So I was really happy that I was recognized and appreciated for being a good co-pilot. And for us, you know, instead of taking half an hour, it took something like 10 minutes to back up. So I was very grateful for this. The other thing I was very grateful is this morning, it was super cold. It was freezing cold in the outside. And so I was grateful that we had some heating up until around 7 where the propane tank stopped working because it was empty. So I was even more grateful that my husband put on some warm clothes, put on shoes, his jacket, and went and touched, turned that little knob so we could have some heat. So I was really happy that I wasn't the one having to go outside in the freezing cold this morning. So that was especially a big grateful thing for me. The third thing I'm grateful for today is our time for our coffee. We love going to Starbucks, going for our coffee. It's our time in the day where we take a little break, whatever we're doing. Um, if we can do it during our work week, that's even better because uh, in case you didn't know or hadn't catch, Bernard and I both work from home. So we each have an office, uh, office at home and We'll go to Philadelphia as well. So, but the thing is, like, we're together 24 7. But the thing is, we still enjoy going out for coffee and just sitting and chilling and talking about plans and doing stuff. So, this was nice because we went for coffee. And while we were there, we did some errands to go pick up some stuff to fix our house because we're gonna have some company for Thanksgiving. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, and our company is from Canada, woohoo! So my very good friend, I call her my sister from another mother. <laughs> this is our joke. So I'm very grateful for that, that we're, we had the time after going camping this weekend, we got home, everything went well. We had the time to clean up and do a little, a few errands to fix our outside because we need to, there's a few things we need to fix. But at least we have a house. We have a house compared to some people that I know in California, unfortunately, um, which is devastating, really. Um, really sad especially at this time of year so you know i'm grateful i have a house to come back to that we get to fix it up i'm grateful for my 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 husband for being there to be my friend to encourage me um and the heat that we got this morning all right so i'd like to know what are you grateful for today and how are you going to continue being grateful to kick off the week? So Monday, tomorrow, think about something that you would like to, you know, show appreciation, people you would like to show appreciation for as you're going to work or you're home with your children or your partner. You know, think of some way that you could either say or show appreciation and see how it's going, it impacts the relationship with them and how they behave towards you. All right, so thank you. 
I'm going to post this also on my YouTube channel so you can go check it out. It's Claudette Chenevere. So if you're looking for my YouTube channel, and I'm also going to send an email to my list. All right. Take care. Good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.